Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have Naman Agarwal with us. So he has secured AIR 5 from WD branch and AIR 36 from EC branch in gate 2024. So yeah, Naman, please introduce yourself and tell us about your gate journey. Thank you, Anish, for giving me this chance to share my journey. I am Naman Agarwal. I am from Aligarh, Uttar Pradesh, and I have done my B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from Aligarh Muslim University in 2021. Then I appeared for gate in 2021 as well and then in 2022 with my rank in gate 2022 i got chance to work in multiple psus like engineers india limited gas authority of india limited and ongc but then i decided to join gale and work there for a year i resigned from there in september 2023 and then decided to take gate doubly as well as ec this year for higher studies opportunity okay so uh previously what was your rank i couldn't listen like uh, the first final year during your final year in gate 2022 in my drop year, my rank was 221 in electrical. Okay, 221. Okay, okay. So, uh, so that that's a long journey. Basically, again, you left your job. Then again, you, you started with preparation. That too with EC and WE. So, like generally, EC and WE are like it is not recommended to choose these combinations. So, why did you choose this combination, EC and WE? See, my expectation with my job was that it's a core job and it will remain like that. But when I was transferred in a pipeline link project, I found that it was not that kind of job which I was looking for in the technical domain. So I decided to part my ways and then for further studies, I took EC as well this year. Okay. Okay. To like uh, EC has uh, further higher study opportunities. That's why like yes. you chose EC. Okay. So uh, when did you start at your, so when did you leave your job and when did you start your gate preparation? I was in touch with my subjects during my job also. Okay. I used to give some hours. But when I decided to leave it in September 2023, I gave full time and then I did some subjects in EC, like core subjects, as my core branch is electrical only. Okay, so uh, you did the core EC subjects from September 2023 onwards, right? And before, yes, I did okay, before that you already had your electrical core subjects already had been covered by you. So you were already in touch with that. Okay. Yes. So that's why like you are already giving some time to preparation for it. That's why you were able to like achieve with this uh, great track. So uh, how you used to manage your time during job? Did you used to give test? Like what you used to do? Did you used to give test series or you used to just uh, study from YouTube or make notes? What you used to do during your like uh, with the job? With the job, I didn't get that much time. So I can focus on test series or core concepts. I just used to have my revision during my job due through crush courses only. Okay, you should okay, you, you should revise through crash courses. Yeah, crash courses are a great way to revise actually. Okay. So okay, so after you left your job, how much uh, like your time do you devoted in gate preparation? Like uh, or what do you how you used to divide your time? Like now you are only studying EC. So you used to study W also or just only EC uh, for this uh, after the September period? No, after September period I used to do both. I used to divide my time accordingly for EC and W. Okay, how you should divide? Basically, you should divide like I like you, you have to study this subject and this subject. So one subject for W and one subject for EC. And according to that, you used to give your time. Is it? Yes. My first preference was to my first focus was on common subjects only. Then okay, I okay. should do them first, and then I can switch on to the core subjects of EC, which I haven't touched ever. So I took some crash courses from YouTube and other sources, and study them only for the numerical perspective. So that I can get the ability to solve some sort of numericals in the exam and later on I can move on with the concepts of them. Okay, okay, okay. So like uh, from when you started to giving test series uh, for EC and Test series are started in December. December. The summer and December January. January totally you give test series. So before that you uh, did you used to give uh, subject wise test series or uh, you don't uh, give subject wise test series? Subject wise test series of electrical only. Okay, before that you used to give, right? Before December, but uh, yes, in October, okay. October, November, I gave a series of electrical subjects. So, okay, so, so December onwards, you only used to give a uh, full end series. Yes. Okay, and what was the schedule for that? Like, was it weekly, bi-weekly, or like every other day? In December, I followed that two tests per week, and in January, I used to give tests on alternate days. Okay, all right. And like, how were your marks actually? Like, uh, were, were it very good or like sometimes low? How was it? In, in electrical, my marks were in the range from 70 to 90 generally. And in EC, they were constant around 60 to 65. Okay, okay. So, like, you never got demotivated or something, right? So, like, your marks were okay, only, so it never bothered you or something. Yes. Okay. And like, how you used to revise? Like, did you have, did, like, did you make notes and then you made short notes or you didn't have any short notes? 
no i used to have my short notes through crash courses in previous attempt i have already made my short notes okay. and this time for ec subjects i made also the short notes okay okay so so you should revise the short note itself or like through other some questions or something yes okay okay so what was going through your mind like doubly when was the doubly paper uh, was it in the same day as ec or is it was in the different so on the same so, day on the same day from 9:30 to 12:30 ec and 2:30 to 5:30 electrical so how were you able to sit for that much like patience like long hours like it's a 6 hours right 3 hours first the doubly then i think the ec and ec one was actually pretty tough doubly one was also also lengthy also it was uh, on the tougher side uh, only so how you like managed to stay so much calm throughout the whole duration so as soon as the gate schedule was launched i found that both the papers are on the same day ec in the morning slot and double in the afternoon slot so i decided to simulate that environment before the exam so i used to give both exams on the sundays in january and february i used to give both exams electronics in the morning slot and electrical in the afternoon slot so my body used to comfortable body used to be get comfortable during the exam time okay okay so uh, basically throughout this whole journey like uh, when some people they get job right they like slack off a bit they don't study that much so what kept you motivated to still study while with your job while you were at the job right so what was like the reason or you you used to like your subjects like whatever you studied right during your btech you used to like those was that a reason or there was some other reason See, I was in MTech in 2022. Also, I was in signal processing and machine learning in IIT Guwahati. Okay. I drop out that because I thought that I will get a chance to apply my theoretical knowledge in the practical domain in a core job, which was my only motive during my BTech. So, but when I joined the job, I was in an electrical plant. But after three months only, I was transferred to a pipeline link project where the work was entirely non-technical. so that kept me motivated to study back my subjects again and then i decided to part my ways as gale is a pipeline based company so at the end of the day you have to work in the pipeline department or project department only so i decided to leave that and apply for higher studies that's why i chose ec this year too okay 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 so basically how you had to choose, like you had to go for higher studies that was the main motivation for you to keep on studying okay so uh, like uh, can you tell us a bit about your exam experience like uh, what you felt when you first saw the electrical paper and the ec paper were you, did you feel tired while like uh, attempting the ec paper ec paper was in the morning slot i started with the aptitude section as i used to do in the test series so that i found moderate except two three questions which were a bit lengthy so i decided to skip them then in the technical section what i personally found was that one marker questions were a bit easy but two marker questions were lengthy as well as difficult so i decided to go through the paper in the one go in one one and a half hour and attempt those questions only which were easy and short and then i reattempted those questions which i thought i can do but a bit lengthy at the time okay okay so did you feel like the paper was difficult this year while attempting the ec paper ec paper was a bit difficult and lengthy too okay but while attempting you got the idea that this year the paper will be difficult yes. right yes okay okay so like uh, any parting words you want to say like uh, i think you you told me that you watched himanshu's videos or something how himanshu had has helped you can you can say about that or any other resources you follow like how to study from youtube and all. You, you studied freely through youtube right or yes yes like you okay so for yeah. electrical and ec both the content is available entire playlist okay. as well as the crash courses are available and question series are also available so a candidate can benefit them from a lot as far as himanshu and your channel is concerned i am following it recently because you guys have made short videos excellent short videos covering the concept which we can state in the interview they are purely conceptual based in instead of being numerical oriented they are conceptual based and that's what most important in the interview in a technical interview so i am following them okay 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 thank you thank you naman so like uh, uh, have you thought of any like uh, college or department that you want to choose or you are still on the thinking process like as you have got a such a great rank you will be able to apply in all of those uh, for the interview at least yes i have thought for mvlsi in isc bangalore ics in iit bombay and iit madras as well okay yeah so those three are actually very good okay okay naman thank you for coming over to our channel we hope like uh, you get whatever you desire for Thank you. Thank you so much.